Our marquee is not just an advertisement of the Roxy, but it is a symbol of independence, the spirit of San Francisco. It's a um, historic independent art house cinema. We want to give people the chance to see things that they are not going to be able to see anywhere else. Classic films, cold classics, filmed by underrepresented filmmakers. Film is it's a very powerful and amazing art form. You know, with film, you can be transported to a different place at a different time. You can escape your daily life. Uh, you can learn, you can be inspired, you can lose sleep over it. A good horror movie will do that to you. So many memories have been made here. The Roxy Theater is one of the oldest continuously operating theaters in the country. It was built in 1913 as a movie theater, and it's been a movie theater ever since. And it was in 1932 that it became the Roxy. I often say the Roxy has lived many lifetimes, everything from German language cinema to Russian language cinema, and it even was a triple X cinema for a while. But in the late 70s, the Roxy became the art house cinema that we know and love today. Yeah, and that's when a group, it was an artist collective, took over this theater and started programming some of the weirdest, most wonderful and hard to find films anywhere. We curate over 500 films, unique films a year. The key to our success in programming is diversity. Roxy does have contemporary modern technology and digital cinema projectors and Dolby surround sound. We also really value the art of celluloid projection. Our projectors in the projection booth are from the 1940s. Part of our mission is to continue to show film in the way that movies were originally meant to be seen. Last year, over a quarter of the films that we showed had a Q&A with a filmmaker or an artist. We want to make sure that filmmakers get to engage with their audience. They can come in, get a popcorn, organic with real butter. They can come to our Big Roxy Theater, our historic theater, which is over 200 seats. Or they can go to our more intimate Little Roxy Theater. It's just two doors up the street ensure that the Roxy can thrive into the next century, we really rely on the support of our community and our members and in our donors. Without them and without being a nonprofit theater, the Roxy would most likely not still be here today. And so the Forever Roxy campaign is ongoing and it's a way for our community to be able to show up and support us so that we can keep doing the amazing programming and community building that we do here. It's, it's much more than just movies. It's a place where memories are created. Somebody will think about a movie and think, oh, I saw that at the Roxy. For me, what makes the Roxy so special and I think film so special is that movies don't just reflect us they have the ability to change us.